Hello world and welcome. Today we'll talk about multi-class text classification with LSTMs. And today we are going to predict um, new complaints in which category they will be fitted in. My name is Harris and let's get started. So if you like the channel and the content and you want to see more content, please make sure to hit the subscribe button or leave a like or comment there. Thanks a lot. So first of all, we are going to import all the required libraries here that we're going to use for an NLP uh, example. We also use the NLTK uh, library again. And I'm going to load the data. Here we have some credit card consumer complaints, uh, which you can see here. Um, we are going to um, categorize everything within this product here and the issue it's kind of some issue text where um, people were writing down something and whether if you have an issue or a complaint it should be fit in some special um, product or category of complaint this is our goal so i plotted here all the 14 um, columns here that is our uh, necessary and I'm going to um, count all the products, all the complaints here to make it a little bit more visible. I was plotting it here in this nice plot. And then you can see this 10 categories, um, which are uh, debt collection, mortgage, uh, credit card and prepaid card and so on. So you can kind of categorize it a little bit more nicer. After this, I'm going to um, plot the text or this kind of complaints and it's t a little bit dirty so um, the text a little bit you know uh, there are some stop words and uh, so I'm going to pre-process everything a little bit I'm making it a lower case I'm um, replacing it and if there are some stop words I'm going to remove it to make it a little bit more nicer to parse the text a little bit uh, to make it better for the model and make it easier to uh, predict new values. So I'm going to tokenize everything afterwards and to put um, all the words or the text in this case into sequence. Afterwards, I'm going to split everything, train and test set, as you know, to um, use it for the model. We are using here um, LSTM um, first, the first layer is the embedding layer for the text. Then we're going to use some dropouts, LSTM, and at the end we have 10 categories. So we are using the 10 output here. In this case, um, the loss is category cross entropy because we have um, 10 categories. So it's not a binary classification here, it's a category classification. So we can see here the summary. I'm going to train the model only with three epochs, but um, the accuracy is pretty good here, 99%, because it's a really small example. So if you're using a little bit um, bigger example with um, more data with a uh, longer text or issues, then it will be, of course, a little bit more harder to re reach this accuracy. But in this case, we have a really small example here to just show the case. Afterwards, I'm going to evaluate the model with the loss which is going still down and the accuracy is going up up to 99 percent the test is higher because we're using a dropout so <laughs> be a little bit aware of this um, that's why the test is in this case is um, the accuracy is uh, higher than the training set and then we are using a new complaint here right uh, we have a long text and we are trying to predict what the model will uh, say in which category it will be the best fitting for this kind of complaint so we got the prediction which is credit card and prepaid card which you can see here above it's the fourth category credit card or prepaid card so there you can categorize this new complaint and make it a little bit more fitting into this category so thanks for watching and Please hit the subscribe button or leave a like comment there. I'll be really happy about it and see you soon.